Welcome to week eight of the high school football season. Only two more to go before the playoffs. I'm Jerry DePaula of Trib Total Media. If you thought the games were big, exciting, and full of drama before, wait till you see what's happening Friday and Saturday in the WPIL and the City League. You got conference championships and playoff bursts on the line. We're here at Keystone Oaks High School today, and that's only the eighth grade team behind. It's not the varsity. Keystone Oaks plays Stowe Rocks. And don't, don't worry, Stowe Rocks. Keystone Oaks is going to bring their big, tough offensive line against you. And their big, their, 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 their smaller running backs, junior running back Jordan Maddox and junior running back Matt McCann have combined, forget this, 1,836 yards. That they live and die, Nick Cambaris, their coach said, on the running game. The engine that makes this thing go are those two, uh, McCat, McCann and Maddox. Uh, you know, both are, are, are having a great season, real close to a thousand yards apiece, which is a, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, so you know, we kind of hang our hat on those two, and when, when one gets tired, we put the other one in and uh, just keep on pumping it into their belly and going. Meanwhile, Stowe Rocks rides high on the throwing arm of uh, Penn State recruit Paul Jones, the quarterback, and ride receiver Andrew Carswell, who said he's going to pit. Now, you, you got to watch out because Keystone Oaks has not been that sharp in the secondary in previous games. Nick Cambaris, their coach, said they got away with some things, but they got to be on their game against Carswell and, and against Jones. Superman and Batman? Yeah. <laughs> They're phenomenal. You know, uh -huh. they, they, uh, you know, those are two kids that you're going to see playing on Sundays. So to have a chance to prepare for them and, uh, you know, play against them, this is two years in a row for us, is, 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 a, is a pretty neat thing. And, you know, 10 years down the road when we're sitting on the couch eating potato chips, we're going we're to see them chucking it around in the NFL someday. So. Also in a century, undefeated South Fayette, looking for its first conference championship since the 60s, they play Steel Valley, which is 5-2. and two. And Steel Valley is trying to get that last playoff spot in the Century Conference, and that's a tough conference because at least five or six teams deserve from that conference deserve to go to the playoffs. Taking a peek at Quad A, you have to have a lot of respect for those kids from Shaler. They responded to the first defeat of the season when they lost to North Allegheny. They came in on the road against Seneca Valley, held their heads high, and they beat Seneca Valley by four touchdowns. Good job, Coach Neil Gordon, his quarterback Tyler Bills, and big play guy Jesse Dallavelli. I think Shaler's going to be a team to watch as we go deeper into the season and we get started in the playoffs in two weeks. Uh, now, another big game for the Midwestern Conference Championship in Class AA. We have Center against Beaver Falls. This is the last year for Center High School. They merge with Manaka next season. They'd like to go out with a, with a championship, but you know what? It's going to be tough to beat this Beaver Falls team. Running back Cody Cook of Beaver Falls is one of the best in the WPIL, and I give Beaver Falls an edge in that game. In the City League, two teams in first place, Oliver and Brashear, are, are, are meeting at the Cup. That's Saturday at noon at Couple Stadium on the south side. A determined bunch of guys play it all over, but a little bit of a talent edge for Brashear. It'll still be a very good game. Finally, shout out to Baldwin. Baldwin upset Upper St. Clair, and they've now won two of their past three games after losing 17 games in a row. Nice job, Jim, Jim Wainer, the Baldwin coach. Okay, they've defeated Upper St. Clair now two of the last three years, which I didn't know until, uh, until Wainer told me. And, and, but now they've got to play Mount Lebanon. Mount Lebanon plays a killer schedule. They've had a nice season, up and down a little bit because of the quality of opposition they're going against. I give the edge to Mount Lebanon in that game, but Baldwin's really had a nice season. Okay, that's all for now. Jerry DePaula, Trib Total Media.